Hello YouTube peoples, Lines are here, and today I'm going to show you how to create glass text in Photoshop. Although it's a bit tedious, it's actually quite straightforward and easy to do, so let's get started. First, we're going to select the text tool. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use a font I downloaded online called the Naughty Gal, but you can use whichever font you'd like. And yet again, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to set my font size to 700 points. Now, just choose whatever you'd like the text to say. I'm going to use the word glass, as I think it's quite fitting. Once you're happy with the text you've just created, we're going to move down to the bottom right-hand corner to the Layers tab. Then click on the text that you've just created, and drag it over the folded paper icon down the bottom right-hand corner twice to make two duplicate layers. Then click the eye icon next to the two duplicate layers to hide them, and select the original text layer. Now select FX and blending options. All the effects we're going to add to the text today are going to be done using this layer styles window. Now to start off set your fill opacity to 0%. Then select bevel and emboss. Set your depth to 80%. And you can leave your size at 5 and your soften at 0. Also make sure that your angle is set to 0 degrees. This is very important. Under Gloss Contour, select the third option in. Set your Highlight Mode to Linear Dodge, Add. And set your Opacity to 30%. Under Shadow Mode, select Linear Burn. And set your Opacity to 0%. Once you've that completed, we're going to move on and add a drop shadow next. Under blend mode, we're going to select linear burn. And for our colour, we're going to set it to 10, 22, 22. Set the opacity to 15%. Set the distance to 10 pixels, leave the speed at 0% and set the size to 15 pixels. Click OK and we're now done with text layer 1. To start working on our second text layer, make it visible again and then select it. Like we did last time, select effects and blending options and set your fill opacity to 0%. Select bevel and emboss and we're going to skyrocket our depth up to 1000%. Leave size at 5 pixels and set soften to 1 pixel. Set your gloss contour to the second option in. Set highlight mode to color burn and make the opacity 5%. Under shadow mode we're going to set it to linear burn and make the opacity 8%. Then select inner shadow and set your blend mode to linear burn. Under the colour option, we're going to set it to 10, 22, 22, yet again. As you can see, a lot of this is very repetitive. Make our opacity 25% and set distance to 1 pixel. Then set size to 0 pixels. We are now finished with text layer 2, so you can click OK and move back down to our layers tab. And yes, you guessed it guys, we're going to make our third layer visible and select it. Go down to FX and click Blending Options. And set Fill Opacity to, you guessed it, 0%. We're almost there guys, so bear with me. Under Bevel and Boss, set your depth to 1000 pixels, size to 15 pixels, and we're just going to leave Soften at 0. For this one, we're going to leave Gloss Contour at its default setting. Under Highlight Mode, select Linear Dodge Add and set your opacity to 20%. Set your Shadow Mode 
to linear burn, and your opacity to 10%. Next, we're going to add a drop shadow. For this one, we're going to leave blend mode on multiply and set our color to, you guessed it, 10, 22, 22. Make the opacity 80%. Set distance to 2 pixels and size to 8 pixels. And last but not least, select Stroke. Set size to 1 pixel, position to inside, blend mode to overlay, and opacity to 50%. And under color, what do you know? We're actually changing it up. Set it to 999999. And finally, you're all finished, and I think the final product is looking very, very nice, if I do say so myself. YouTube has this feature now where videos that are 10 minutes or longer tend to get more views. But I'm going to try and keep my tutorials short and sweet for you guys, because I think that's priority. On screen now, you can see one of my other videos you may find helpful. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video.